Hello everyone, it's Jasmine, your brow expert. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your brow expert. I've been shaping eyebrows for 25 years at the Anastasia Beverly Hills Salon. So I always say, please stop by, come by and get your brows done. You get the best brow you can get and some tips along the way. So, and thank you for some of you guys have already come and visit uh, and got your brows done. So thank you for that. Thank you for the comments. That really helps uh, to get my videos to be better. And thank you for the likes and thank you for subscribing. And if you're thinking about it, haven't done it, please do so. This again helps me to create more content and, and get better at it. Every week I release videos on the clients that I hope that you can relate with. This one is an Asian eyebrow. So, you know, Asian eyebrows are... Are a little different in in that most of our brow shapes should be a little bit on the straighter side not exactly straight there's always gonna be a little bit of an arch as you can tell right here I always use myself as a model as well you can see I have this high peak over here this particular um, eyebrow is nice and full she has this kind of high peak and it doesn't work on our faces because our faces are more flat and imagine like a flat sheet of paper and you draw like a like a mountain peak it it doesn't work, right? If you you would almost have to have like a, a round ball, like a ball, um, if you scrunch a, pa a piece of paper and you do that kind of curved or a mountain peak, it curves into that, right? If you do a straight line on that, you just never will see the straight line. So I don't know if that visual worked. But anyway, so you want something that balances with your face. Asian faces look best if our brows are a little bit more straighter because it balances with our, um, our brow, uh, our cheekbone trust me when i tell you it is the best shape for you you can get a little too crazy and make it too straight mm, i'm not really crazy about that so again it's about the structure and the balance for your face so this particular model we're just going to put back some balance but just do a little bit of shaping you'll see a little bit of that as well me waxing and tweezing so without further ado let's look at this model here so i told you that she's got a full set of eyebrows uh, Asians have more of a sparse eyebrow here, but I'm going to draw in the eyebrows. We have full eyebrows, but they're sparse. We have thick strands of hair, but they're sparse. <laughs> so when you have them properly waxed, it actually creates a thicker look. And you'll see what I mean in a second. I'm creating an outline to show you that high peak she has there. Just like the, just like what I created right over here. And it by just all you have to do is just look at my face you can't see your whole face but you can see it just doesn't work like this one works right this just doesn't really work and so for her that high peak over there that is where i'm going to adjust her eyebrows but the rest i'm just going to keep nice and full waxing is again very important for brows like this because she's got a lot of hair fuzz and it's just sparseness so when you cl clean up the uh, areas that she doesn't need it's just really going to hone in our eyebrows and just create a nice thick look so as you can see with my eyebrows again i just did this whole peak right here and you know what the arches are a little bit off it should be a little bit further out the pinch of the nose corner of the iris that is no that is where you know where your arch is so here i'm making the outline again but this time i'm going right over that peak right there see right over there i'm just kind of softening up a little bit here and there but because i want you to see that straight line across like just kind of like right here almost it's not straight but it's more of an angle straight but notice that arch right there i'm kind of like covering that so i'm just going right over that area right here so i'm just like pretending that's not there because i'm going to wax that area and right in the at uh, the bottom keeping that really nice and full asian eyelids we can get this wide-eyed look if our eyebrows are thin because we have more hair up here than we do down here so some of the adjustment really takes place uh, above the eyebrow by an expert <laughs> i mean i can't tell you how many times i've seen brow shapes that are just too flat taken off to, uh, in the wrong areas at the top of the eyebrow. So I always tell my clients, when in doubt, just don't touch the top. You really need someone that knows what they're doing when they're shaping the, the top of the eyebrow. But done right, it makes a big difference. And here you're going to see how much of a difference it's going to make. So this is the shape that we're going for. And in just a second, you're going to see me waxing her eyebrows. Now, she does have a lot of fuzz underneath that bottom outline right here. So it's really important to wax that off again it's about creating a thick look to this full eyebrow does that make sense <laughs> creating a thicker look to a full eyebrow um and see, look at all that hair right underneath she had a little bit more than what i even thought once i uh, waxed her eyebrows underneath the front very important to keep it nice and straight 
you guys can even see from the wax how straight it is and yeah there you go it already looks good i haven't even finished right now at the top here here lies where you got to go to an expert very important i'm going right above that outline you want to create that outline actually that works for you too if you create that little outline and tweeze around it that helps too look at that how like how good is that now that may look a little scary to you like oh i don't know that arch was taken off Again, look at the whole face. Now, if you had a more of a three-dimensional eyelid or a Caucasian face, you wouldn't go this flat. It wouldn't work um, because your, your brow bone comes out a little bit and your eyelid goes in a little bit. So you want it to have that kind of arch and dimensional look. She still will have an arch, but it's more of like a straight, soft arch. More like here on me. So now look at that. It looks in my opinion, looks so much better. And so I'm uh, tweezing some of the excess here. Now I'm just gonna get rid of this while I'm tweezing here, just right over here. And I'm just pretending I'm waxing, but I'm actually getting rid of that part of the high peak. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that we just wax that area off <laughs> right there. And look at that, look at her eyebrow, it's just so, much nicer now trimming do you guys trim trim straight hair that goes straight down so easy because you only get trim one or two hairs and you just need a tiny bit meaning open the scissor up a tiny bit you don't need to give yourself a big haircut look at just snipping a little piece of the hair here and there makes a big difference especially on straight eyebrows now i love this look this nice and full the arch isn't too crazy high again when you have flat eyelid and a flatter face this is the shape you want to go. The highlighter really works well with fine, um, sparse hair. Now it's thicker though, right? But when you put a highlighter underneath the eyebrows like that, it creates the rest of the eyebrows, especially at that base down here to look thicker. That is so important. And try that if you guys haven't already. You don't even have to have Asian brows to do this, right? You guys know from all my other videos that when you put that highlight underneath the eyebrow, it almost tells you this is where I want the hair color. I mean the brow color. You don't even have to even put color on sometimes. You can just do this highlighter, use the brush 18, which is my favorite brush, and just go right underneath the eyebrows underneath. And it's just, that's all you need is to just kind of blend in that highlighter and you feel like, oh, I can just sport this look and it's perfect. She actually can get away with this look and it looks really good. I mean, wouldn't you agree? So highlighter is very important in this look. Again, especially when you have sparse eyebrows, even though her brows are now much thicker, it's not like it's dark and thick, you know? I mean, densely populated. There is sparseness here and there. Asian eyebrows are, like I said, thick but sparse. So the highlighter really does help in separating the skin from the eyebrows. So if you guys are filling in your eyebrows, wanting to put some dark color on the eyebrow, try the highlighter first so that it just kind of gives you like a, I would say a stencil, like gives you like a marker. Now I'm using the Perfect Pencil because the Perfect Pencil gives off that kind of powdery look. It, um, you don't want something too dark. So you want something that just kind of gives it just enough color. I'm actually just barely touching her eyebrows with it. My brow is a little bit on the darker side. There's, I put a little bit of hair strokes on mine but um, because I want it to look like hers. <laughs> I don't have natural hair amount of hair like she does. But the powder is so perfect, you guys, because, again, I just want that background. And I'm applying very little pressure. And I'm using a medium. Actually, I'm using the ash brown pencil, I think. And you could also use medium brown. You could do medium brown. This is medium brown. And you could also get away with ash brown pencil as well. But the perfect pencil is perfect. And the spoolie brush to just kind of spread it out. And the brow gel, you guys, is so important. When you have fine hair, but you have enough of it, you have sparse hair, but it's all around, just like her. Look at that. When you put brow gel on there, it just separates the hair and looks so defined. The brow gel just actually adds a little bit of fiber, so it thickens the hair up, keeps the pencil on longer. Look at the before. Remember that high peak arch? And then you're going to see the after in just a second. So, yeah, I mean, did you forget that already? <laughs> Look at that. How pretty is that before and after? It just makes such a big difference. And look at, I just gave a full shot of her face right here, just so you can see how well it works, right? That side, the one I was working on, had a little bit of makeup on. The other one actually doesn't have any makeup on and it still works, right? But uh, imagine if she had that high peak, doesn't work with, this, with the frame of her face. So that is what I wanted you guys to look at on this full shot here. But um, yeah, it just, it's so pretty on point. I love that she has a, this full set of eyebrow hair. And I hope this 
tip helps you guys. If you know anyone that can use this tip, if you know anyone that has a more of a, a flat eyelid, not a, like a fold on their eyelid, this is this might be a really good tip for them or anyone else that's um, that's Asian. <laughs> Or you don't even have to be Asian. There's a lot of good tips in here for you as well. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Definitely give me a comment of what you guys thought about this, this model and this brow shape. And thank you for sticking with me. And I will see you guys right back here. Thank you.